Hey, local Jay Swearingen with Dwell Kansas City Real Estate. Welcome to another episode of Living in 64116, where we introduce you to the businesses and organizations just north of the river and the role they play in making the Northland such a great place to live and work and play and raise a family. Today, we're back in Northtown, smoking guns. We're gonna go speak to the owners, Linda and Phil, and learn more about their great barbecue. Thanks for having me out. Thanks for Linda. Smoking nice Guns. Now, you've been here for a while. This is, I, I say, a new location. It's not really a new location anymore, but you started out elsewhere, right? Yes. Uh, we originally started in a little 48 seat place, um, 20 foot by 100 foot, probably uh, 900 square feet. Was that on Swift as well? Mm -hmm. so yes, it was actually right here where the parking lot is. All right. So in fact, let's tell them where we're at. We're on Swift and what? What's the address? 1218 Swift. So between 12th and 13th on Swift mm -hmm. in North Kansas City. All right, yeah. just want to get that out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we had 48 seats. Three of them were at the little bar we had. And uh, it's just a little lunch yeah, kind of thing. Small, and yeah. just kind of And how many is here now? Hundred, how many seats? 458. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And how long have you been here in this spot? Uh, this is our seven year anniversary here. Seven years. 17 total. Uh, 17 total. And then you added the upstairs recently, or not recently. Well, but when we built this building, we made two stories. We've got a banquet room and an open air deck that seats 100 people. Yeah, live music sometimes. Live music, yeah. summertime, Saturdays. Yeah. What, are you, what are you known for? What do people go, oh, we got to go to smoke events? What is that thing? Um, originally, it's kind of the, the burn ins or beef. Uh, kind of a beef kind of town, you know, Kansas City. And every good barbecue joint anywhere in Kansas City has got burnt ends on yeah, the menu. Yeah. It's just not, that's what people judge you by when they come to Kansas City. Got it. It's beef. Uh, and how did you start out doing barbecue? Or well, was it you? I don't know. 25 years ago, we started doing competitions. And uh, we did pretty good in them. And kind of uh, hit some of the bigger contest yeah and, uh, we actually won the world championship back in 1999. I didn't know that. The Jack Daniels world championship. I'll be damned. Wow where was that? Uh, Richburg, Tennessee. Richburg. At the distillery. Oh man how yeah. incredible. We got drawn and went down there. I think that was our second year there and uh, we won it our second year down there. For burnt ends or for something else? Uh, actually uh, brisket for brisket. and pork and ribs mm. that year. All right. And we were first in brisket. So then you're like, I'm ah, pretty good at this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when we first started the competition, it was just for fun. Yeah. And then it kind of got a little more involved. And yeah. And we kind of excelled in that. So we kind of keyed on it. Made a business out of a hobby. <laughs> well, I'm glad you did. We've all benefited from it. We've all mm -hmm. had uh, smoking on barbecue right here. That's for sure. I'm a North Towner as well. We live up here on, mm -hmm. on, uh, on Howell, not too far from us. We've been here times. So I know a couple of years ago, or a few years ago, you guys were on a TV show. Tell me about that. Uh, Triple D, Guy Fieri, actually does a, a show on Food Network. And he's Triple D, Diners, uh, Drives, drives and Dives. Dives. Okay, yeah, yeah. And uh, he's always been in the barbecue, and we knew him actually from doing contests. Ah. And uh, when we had the restaurant, I guess he was, uh, he picked four out of 32 different barbecues around Kansas City to do what he called the Kansas City Barbecue Tour. Okay. And uh, we made that final cut. Excellent. It was the four on the TV. That was back in 2010. 2010. Yeah. All right. And here just recently, he revisited, and that show is going to air, oh, here in a week or so, uh, January 24th, Friday night at 8 p.m. Excellent. We're going to feed just you guys. It's a show about about this place. It's yes, it's a ten years a, later additional show that he does called Triple D Nation, and that's where he revisits the place that he had been to once before. Oh, wow, see how it Very grew, cool. And what's happened since? See a big bump yeah. when the when the show came out. Did you get did you get a lot of? And you expect that same thing again? I guess. Oh, we hope so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hope so. Yeah. 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 He was uh, really excited because you know the little place. 48 seats and you can you know, throw a rock from one end to the other. And it, it, that, that's kind of the places he liked, you know. Yeah, yeah. Places like that. But he also likes to see what happens when he does feature a little place like that and he 
what well, happened. Well, what happened. happened and then he just couldn't believe it. And I went there. From less than a thousand, maybe about a hundred square feet to uh, almost twelve thousand. Wow. A little over that. I bet you paid attention to where your customers come from. Mm -hmm. And I would imagine it's not just Northtown, it's probably yes. just about everywhere. All over. You'd be surprised at the amount of people that we get from out of town. They land at KCI and then their first stop, they want barbecue, so they come here. And how do they find you? Usually look it up on Google. Okay, and they're just like, hey, let's go to that place. Closest barbecue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they'll uh, ask the driver of the rental place or whatever. Good place. It's on the way to Kansas City where they're usually doing business. Yeah, yeah. Where they've seen us on the, on on the, the TV, TV show. show. Yeah, yeah, exactly. right. And then they said, they're in town, they come. Yeah. We've had people from all over the nation because of the show and they hear about it and they kind of highlight it and then when they're in Kansas City they do their movements. A lot of people plan their vacations around. Mm -hmm. Well you think that was a big bump. Wait till you see this thing hit Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> a little different. A little different. Hey, thanks for having us out. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. Hey, thanks for joining us for another episode of Living in 64116. Hey, if you enjoyed this episode, please like it and comment on it. Most importantly, share it so more people can learn about smoking guns in Northtown on Swift. And we'll see you next week.